Hi, today I'm going to show you how to do a, a drawing slide. Uh, so I'm going to go to the home tab here in PowerPoint. Uh, I'm going to click on the bottom half of the new slide button and I'm going to choose a, a blank background. Um, so uh, we're just going to create a border up at the top of this slide. So I'm going to click on insert uh, and I'm going to cl click on pictures and I'm going to click on online pictures. Uh, and I'm going to look for Apple. Okay, uh, and I might uh, choose this one here uh, and click on insert. Okay, now sometimes when you insert stuff now, it gives you this little uh, copyright image and I'm actually just going to get rid of that uh, and just uh, select it here and then just press delete. Uh, select the whole lot of it and press delete. So we now have a single apple and I'm going to reduce that down uh, so that it's tiny. Okay, so it's really quite small. Okay, so I'm just going to place it up here at the top and I'm going to copy it. Uh, so you can use the copy button up here or you can do control C to copy. So I'm going to click on copy up here and then I'm going to paste and I probably need about 12 of these. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 10, 11. Maybe that'll do. Okay, and I'm going to drag one of them over here. Okay, and I'm going to leave the others where they are and I'm going to position this one carefully and think, yeah, that's about the right position for the first one or the last one. And then I'm going to position this one here so it's similar like that. Now I'm going to space these out. So I'm going to click and drag over the whole lot. Okay, I'm going to create a big square that goes over the whole lot of them like that and it selects them all in between. So I have them all selected now. Uh, now I click on a uh, picture format uh, toolbar here uh, and I can go to the alignment option here. So I'm going to say uh, align middle. OK, uh, and then uh, come in here again uh, and distribute them horizontally so they're nicely spaced out. And you're thinking, yeah, that's looking good. Now, we don't want them, this to get messed up. So in here, we're going to go to group and group and it now acts as one item. So as I move it about, it's one singular item. OK, so you're going to have a border at the top of your page and then I'm going to copy and paste that. So I'm going to click on the copy button and then I hit the paste button and I have another one uh, down the bottom and we'll line it up nicely. Okay, so you need three other items on your slide. So let's click onto the insert tab uh, and we're going to, it says to insert some word art. So I'm going to choose uh, some word art in here and I'm going to, I'll say apples are great. Okay, uh, and you can adjust those and you can go with different text effects and you can have different shades and uh, rotations and, you know, uh, different uh, bits and pieces. So you can sort of start to put in some things like that. Um, and you need to have two other items. So uh, maybe get some pictures in here, uh, online pictures. And again, I'm looking for, uh, maybe I'll do it, apple pie. OK, uh, and I might uh, uh, choose, uh, you know, something like this to go in and I might put a frame on it. So I might sort of choose that and insert. OK, and again, uh, I'm going to get rid of the uh, copyright stuff down the bottom uh, and I can reduce it down. Uh, and with it selected like this. Um, I could maybe for, on the picture format tool here, I could put maybe a little frame on it or make it maybe make it stand out a little bit, you know, and give it a bit of depth. Uh, and, and again, when we're positioning our items, make sure you put in one more item on this slide uh, and, and make sure that they're nicely spaced, that the gap between here and here is the same as the gap over on this side.